Consider this. You have an AWS Lambda function, which is integrated with the Amazon API gateway and deployed as a REST API. Now, you want to export your API as a Swagger spec file in JSON or YAML format automatically. Can you do this using the API gateway? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on test, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function. Looks like our function is working as expected. Next, navigate to the API gateway service, then click on create API. Hit build in the REST API section, give your API a name, then click on create. Choose create method from the actions dropdown, then select get. Leave the integration type to lambda function, then pick the lambda function we just created and hit save. Click on test to test your get method and confirm that you see hello from lambda in the response body. Next, navigate back to the actions dropdown, then choose deploy API. I'm going to create a new deployment stage here and call it dev, then hit deploy. Click on the invoke URL and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the browser's output. If you head to the export tab, you should see three options to export your API. If you look closely at both the YAML files for Swagger and Postman, you will notice that we're missing the Lambda integration details. That's because both Swagger and Postman are non-AWS technologies. However, if we explore the Swagger plus API gateway extensions option, you should find the Lambda integrations details as well. Next, let's try to create a new API from the exported file from the Swagger plus API gateway extensions option. Navigate back to the API screen, then click on create API. Hit build in the REST API section, then choose the import from Swagger option. Select the YAML file we just exported for the API gateway option, then hit import. Go inside the get method, then click on test to test your integration with Lambda function. Looks like we're running into an error because of invalid permissions on our Lambda function. To fix this, let's head to the configuration tab of our Lambda function then click on permissions. Click on add permissions in the resource space policy section, then select AWS service. Choose API gateway, then give your statement a unique ID. Copy paste your new API's ARN in the source ARN section, then select Lambda invoke function for action, then hit save. Finally, head back to the API Gateway window and click on Test again to confirm if the integration is working as expected now. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the Amazon API Gateway apply for a job at the circus?